Hey guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, and today, I know this is a bit of an indulgent video, but I just spent a few weeks in West Virginia and I got back to New York just now and I had a giant pile of boots and bags and clothing waiting for me and opening them all by myself seemed kind of sad. So I thought I'd do it here and let you know the kind of stuff that arrives at your doorstep when you run a weird YouTube channel about heritage apparel. Uh, so I'm gonna divide this into three sections. The first is stuff that brands have sent me for free because people are always very curious about what kind of free stuff I get as a YouTube guy. The next section will be a couple of Christmas presents that I specifically asked for from my mummy. And then I'll show you stuff that I bought myself, like the stuff that I was willing to spend my own money on because I really wanted them. So let's get started with, first on the menu is Taft. We got some boots here from Taft. So this is, the, this is the Jarrow boot from Taft. I almost bought this myself, actually. I've been eyeing them for a long time, but um, yeah, I did get Taft to, to me for free, which is nice of them. Thank you, Taft. Um, I do like the company here. These are white wool boots, which I'm featuring in a video about white boots for men. Um, and I asked Taft to send them to me because I wanted to actually show some of the boots themselves without just like showing pictures of the internet and they graciously agreed to. So keep an eye out for that video coming up in the future. White wool boots, pretty cool. Next up on the things I got for free when I was out of town, Tom Beckby. Tom Beckby, it's a big box. They sent me three of these jackets so I can get the right size for myself. Um, Tom Beckby, this is a company for a long time I couldn't decide if I should like look at or not because it's a very, classic like timeless outdoorsy men's fashion which is like my thing um, but it's apparel for hunting or very hunting inspired which I don't know if my audience loves or not but their tensile jacket this one here is really really famous it's one of the most talked about wax jackets on the market and everyone says it's like super functional but you can wear it out on the town and um, that's something that I like about apparel so I'm really pumped to review this um, I also really want to wear it hunting even though there's only like a few weeks left of the season so if you know anyone in the tri-state area around New York City who would like to take me hunting uh, let me know. The seasons for hunting grouse and rabbit don't end for a little while, but I'm definitely gonna take this hunting and get some footage of it before I actually uh, get the review up on the channel. So you can look forward to that one. All right, next up is Wilcox. Uh, Wilcox is a boot company. There's another pair of boots, a uh, nice free pair of boots I got. Wilcox like just reached out to me to, uh, to see if I wanted to look at a pair of their boots. Um, but a lot of people have been messaging me about them like independently. So I wanted to, uh, yeah, take a look at this because people haven't asked me about these boots. This boot's actually unreleased at the moment. Um, this is their brand new Baker boot. Uh, at the time of filming anyway, it's not actually available to buy. It's just gonna be coming soon on their site. So this is the Baker boot. This is, um, they say on the website, this is like gonna be their staple boot. And it has just about everything you would expect. Like it's got vegetable tan leather midsoles, it's got a rubber outsole here. Uh, it's got full grain leather upper. And I guess I would say this is full grain. You can see a bit of the grain on here. It's not as pronounced as like on, um, you know, some full grain red wing leathers, like the Briar Oil Slick. But uh, yeah, you can see you can see the, the grain of the skin a little bit on this boot. Um, and this is under 300 bucks as well. I'm really excited about this one. It's, it's a blue leather bag. It's a blue leather bag. Uh, so this company is a French company. I'm very excited about them. Uh, I see them all the time in the Instagram posts of Corey Malk, who is a very good photographer you should check out. Um, sometimes they're on Instagram as British stuff. They're also under Bruno's Artisans as well. Um, but I've never seen them on YouTube. So I wanted to get one of their bags and figured, uh, why not? I'll get, I'll get the blue one. Um, so this has been on its way here since before the pandemic. Like, about a year ago uh, was when they said they'd send me one. Um, I reached out to them because I really like them and I'm doing more leather bags on the channel. And then they couldn't, they said they would and they couldn't because you know, the economy tanked and everything shut down. Um, and now it finally got here. So uh, yeah, oftentimes my reviews are months, if not years in the making, but uh, this bag is finally here. This is blue leather. It's vegetable tan leather as well. And it's handmade in France and it's pretty good value as well. So uh, yeah. Handmade uh, European vegetable tan leather bag. I'm, uh, I'm pumped to try it out. And it's blue. <laughs> All right, and the last free thing that I got is from Huckberry. All right, so uh, this is, as you can see, it's actually a Filson bag uh, from 
Huckberry. So Huckberry is an online retailer of all things men's good, uh, a lot of heritage stuff, a lot of outdoor stuff, um, a lot of just heritage, a lot of just outdoors. So Felsen, of course, as you may know or may not know, is like sort of the premier uh, high-end heritage outdoor gear. So by that I mean they've got a lot of stuff. My bag is here that's underneath all these boxes, but I've got uh, a lot of Filson bags. I really want to know if they're bags. I've also got their coats. Um, and their stuff is also remarkably expensive. So I have their journeyman backpack, which I've done a video on. It's made of a uh, wax canvas. And uh, that one is like $390. And this bag here is part of Filson's attempt to make stuff that's um, a little easier on the wallet. So instead of canvas or wax canvas, this is nylon, ballistic nylon they call it. And this is like way cheaper. What is this? $220, $225. So this is the Dryden backpack from Filson. Um, I'm really pumped I've got it. This is like really nice and casual. This is the sort of, it's like a Filson bag, but you could use this, uh, you could take it to the gym for instance, and like the you know, bridal leather dangling off you from like the canvas backpack might look a little bit, a little bit weird. Um, but this one here, this is, it's Filson quality, but like, yeah, it's not a, a traditional Filson fabric um, or design. But you do get nice like leather pull tabs. So again, Filson, Filson is known for the quality of their stuff and the durability of it. But their design is like really like the real reason why Filson is so popular in my opinion. And uh, this is a really well designed uh, casual bag that's not Heritage, but it's by a Heritage company. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm going to try it out for, uh, for a couple months and, and see how it goes. All right, so that does it for the free stuff that I got from brands while I was out of town for a few weeks. Next, I've got some Christmas presents that came along from my mom while I was away, and I specifically asked for these. So this sort of counts as like stuff that I covet, which is largely the theme of this whole video. <laughs> so this is, this, is, uh, this is the first thing I've got here that I actually asked for from mom. Um, this is from Pistol Lake. All right, so it's a Henley. Uh, as everyone always asks me where I get my Henleys from, because besides today, I pretty much exclusively wear Henleys all the time. Uh, the answer for most of them is Buck Mason, um, but they kind of wear out after a couple of years, which is like a fine lifespan, I guess, for a Henley. But uh, I've been looking for, you know, looking at a couple of different brands, see what else is out there, and Pistol Lake caught my eye. They have 20 colors available in this particular Henley. So like, it's, it's enormously popular. It's made with organic cotton, which is actually, it actually is better for the environment. Uh, and they say it's got like a, they say it's got like a modern fit as well, which I like. I don't like, you know, two boxy Henleys, like my ones from J. Crew, uh, And it's also completely made in Los Angeles as well in the United States of America. And it's not that expensive. It's like uh, $52 or something. Um, I have one other uh, Henley from Pistol Lake, but it's a different kind. It's called their One Bag Henley, which is made of like recycled polyester. And it also has like a bunch of stuff to make it retain its shape and not stink. It's like a bit more for working out. So yeah, the brand has like a, an eco-friendly yet stylish bent that I was interested in. So uh, I've got that recycled polyester one made of like old water bottles, but this one is their cotton one, organic cotton, made in LA. Uh, so I thought I'd try it out, yeah. Looking forward to it, my new Henley. All right, the last uh, present that I got, which counts as free stuff, uh, is from Taylor Stitch. So let's open it up and see what we got. I just realized that I think with unboxings, uh, this is my first unboxing I've ever done, and I think you're supposed to open them like really nicely and cleanly, uh, not tear everything apart the way I've done. So I think I might, have, I might have defeated the purpose of doing an unboxing. I think unboxings are supposed to be like really like, nice and calming, and I've just been kind of tearing stuff apart like a wild animal, so uh, apologies if this is a very disappointing unboxing. Uh, Taylor Stitch is what I've got here. So um, this is two shirts from Taylor Stitch, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, when I realized Taylor Stitch uh, fits more slim than your average kind of heritage brands, uh, which are often geared toward uh, kind of more heavyweight guys, more stocky guys. Uh, I decided to stock up, right? Because like I kind of I wanted some good flannels for a while, but most flannels, especially from stuff like Duluth Trading and, and that kind of stuff, um, the yeah they're for kind of like boxy fits. Not all of them, but anyway. Taylor Stitch, I prefer the fit. Um, I'd like it to tape a bit more at the waist though, but like still, this is a Jack shirt, which is really famous. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. And this one is the Yosemite shirt, which is the flannel one. It's more heavyweight. Um, and I really dig this uh, deep, I think it's called Deep Ocean. 
Yes, the deep ocean color. I really like this, um, and it's gonna be nice and warm, um, and it's a good kind of balance of formal and informal. So I'm looking forward to that. And thanks for the shirt, Mum. Let's check out the stuff that I bought myself. All right, so I'm very pumped for this very, very expensive bag <laughs> from Bradley Mountain. Um, so Bradley Mountain, uh, they're a, you know, they're a small American company, make a lot of really cool outdoorsy stuff. Um, this backpack is their signature backpack. They've got a few of them. This one's called the Wilder. So it's got this like water bottle on the outside. It's got these really cool snap closures here, which you get, use that to get into the hole inside pocket there. Um, yeah, I'm really pumped for this bag. It is 20 ounce wax canvas. So for comparison's sake, my Filson Journeyman backpack, which is very similar to this, it's, uh, that one's 13 ounces or, yeah, I think it was 13 ounces or 14 ounces. Um, and this is, this is 20 ounces. So this is really, really thick stuff. Uh, it costs $445, it's massively expensive. So obviously I tried to get it for free, I failed, um, but they had a sale on uh, uh, at the, at, around, around the new year and it got like 25% off, so I figured that was my best shot, so I got it. Um, this is a really, really sexy bag. It's a bit more outdoorsy than I'm used to, but it's not so outdoorsy that I think it's gonna look stupid uh, running around Manhattan. And it's a bit bigger than my Filson backpack as well with, uh, this is 28 liters and the Filson one's 23 liters. So I'm pretty excited for this. This is far and away the company's best selling bag. I actually got one of their watch rolls for a friend um, to help him carry his watches, Jake Bowley. Check out, he has a fitness YouTube channel. You should check it out. Um, we used to work together. Uh, their watch roll is just like a strip of canvas, like waxed canvas, like whatever. And you can you put the watches in there. But um, I've been thinking about this brand for a long time and I'm excited for this bag. I'm sad I had to pay for it, but I'm excited for the bag. And you know what, I'm sure I'm gonna love it all the more given I had to suffer and work for it. All right, the last one is one of the most exciting, but it has the least exciting packaging. It just came in a FedEx envelope, but this one's from Rogue Territory. And uh, I know it's inside this one and I'm very excited for it. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the supply jacket, the Ridgeline supply jacket from Rogue Territory. Uh, as you can tell, wax canvas is kind of on my mind these days. <laughs> I've already lost count of how many wax canvas things uh, I got during this haul. Um, but the reason why, let's try this on. I'm actually a bit worried about this uh, size because everyone says it's like a really, really uh, slim fitting jacket. So it's possible I should have sized up. But the reason why this is such a popular jacket Partly because it's cool and it's wax canvas and it's gonna age well and it's well made. I think this fits all right. But also, more importantly, James Bond wears this jacket in the next movie that hasn't come out yet. It was gonna come out in February and then it got pushed. Uh, we don't know where it's gonna come out at the moment, but around the time it comes out, you better believe I'm gonna have a video about wearing in James Bond's jacket because uh, I'm really proud. This is like the only time that a uh, heritage sort of fashion stuff, wax cotton and wax canvas stuff has intersected with very, very popular things. The last time that happened was with uh, when John Krasinski had Jack Ryan's backpack um, in, he had a Filson backpack in the Jack Ryan show. I did a video about that. Um, and I'm gonna do a James Bond video when this one comes out. So look out for that. Uh, I think this fits all right. All right, I'm pretty pumped for this one. Um, that's it, actually. That's the whole video. Thanks for watching. A bit indulgent, I know, but I just, I just didn't want to open all these packages in my apartment. I thought that'd be kind of sad. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks to the companies that let me sell for free. Thank you a little bit less to the ones who didn't. Um, but uh, they're going to be, you know, they're going to make videos of the stuff, and it's going to be all really cool. Um, that's it. I got to get to work, and I got to wear James Bond's jacket. So uh, thanks for watching, and um, subscribe, subscribe as well if you haven't already.